Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the Cairns Cup 2020 uh, in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. It's the second edition of the elite level tournament for the top female players from around the world. And of course, St. Louis Chess Club is the host and organizer of the Cairns Cup. And this is tournament is nine round tournament and uh, classical time control. And it's probably the strongest female tournament ever held in the world. At least uh, this was stated by uh, organizer San Luis Chess Club. And to attract the top players, it has one of the largest prize funds for a woman tournament. And the top three finishers, for example, will receive uh, 45, 35 and 25 thousand dollars respectively. And I would like to show you the game uh, from round one of the tournament between Nana Zagnidze. Uh, she is the strongest player from Georgia and she is actually world number 10 um, among the women players and her ranking is 2515. She is 33 years old and she play as white. And her opponent Valentina Gunina 30 years old um, player from Russia and her ranking is 2461 and that's um, 25th ranking in the world on the list of the top uh, women players. So that's being said, let's jump into the game. So Nana Zagnidze open with d4. We have knight f6 by Valentina Gunina and bishop g5. Trompowski attack on the board. And how dangerous is Trompowski attack? Uh, you can see from my other game where Rafael Vaganian was playing with uh, Viktor Kuprejcik. Uh, that is my commentary from the game from 1974 in Leningrad and it's very very attacking game where white has three pieces hanging and black don't even have time to pick up they have to try to defend and at the end uh, white don't lose even single piece so very impressive stuff and very attractive to watch so if you are interested there is the link so after this game you can watch that also I really recommend maybe you will like Trompowski attack uh, over there was c5, but here we have d5, so more traditional uh, approach, and here we have e3, c5 and c3, knight c6 and knight d2. And here Gunina play bishop on g4, attacking the queen, so queen has to move somewhere, queen a4. And it's very similar structure to um, actually Cambridge Spring defense, just white play as black with tempo more. So uh, it's quite interesting approach. And usually the plan for, for black, but in this case for white, would be bishop on b5 and putting the pressure on the on this knight and also a uh, knight on um, f3 and e5 would be possible uh, that would be a huge pressure that would be the plan for white so gunia don't want any of that complication so first she just exchanged um, the pawns on d4 like in classical queen's gambit declined and then play a6 so now this move is um, impossible she also prepare b5 so we have knight g on f3 and b5 as planned. Queen c2 and queen d6 by Gunina. Bishop d3, so putting the pressure on h7 pawn. And now rook on c8 uh, by black. Uh, and here Nana just castle. We have e6, so open the diagonal for the bishop to develop. And here we have queen on b1, uh, quite strange looking moves because it's blocking the, the rook. So rook can't approach, for example, to the uh, c file or e file and can play in the center. So black should know that, um, you know, a4 is coming because this is the only way to, you know, develop the, the rook. Uh, and here we have knight on d7. Knight on d7, so knight can't be uh, taken by the bishop. The problem is is now um, this h7 pawn is hanging. Uh, so we have a4 by Nana and queen b8 defending that pawn because now it's attacked twice. And here we have a takes on b5 and a takes on b5. 
and bishop h7 as planned. And um, and here we have bishop on e7. If you would like to trap the bishop, that would not be a good idea because after exchanging on g6, we would actually have beautiful checkmate on g6. So that was not an option. So after bishop on h7, we have bishop on e7 by Valentina Gunina. Uh, bishop e7 and king stake on e7. So king stay in the center and Gunina want to, you know, uh, maybe start to play on the semi-open h-file that would be quite strong attack here. Uh, so we have bishop on d3 putting pressure on b5 um, pawn and g5 by Gunina, so um, attacking plan. The plan, of course, is to um, uh, to put the pressure on h2 square, and after this knight is moved, then, you know, uh, black would checkmate. So the plan would be, for example, exchanging the, the bishop, making the space for the pawn, and then pushing the pawn. So that would be very pow powerful. So g3 preventing all this plan is played. And here we have rook c to g8, uh, rook a6 attacking the knight and bishop f3 first, knight f3 and bishop takes on f3 as planned and knight takes on f3 and here g4. And engine recommends, uh, for example, knight on uh, h4, but I think it would be too risky as uh, black would just sacrifice the exchange and then uh, would have probably very strong attack on the king side. So um, definitely Nana didn't want to, uh, you know, risk that. So he, she play knight on d2. And here we have queen on f8 with the very sneaky plan. So for example, if rook takes on c6, uh, then we would have rook on h2, king h2, now queen h6 with check, king g1, and rook h8. And it's very, very strong attack. Actually, the only resources white has is uh, bishop on h7. And after exchanging um, the material on h7, uh, white would have slightly better game with two rooks against the, the queen. But um, I think uh, Nana Zagnidze uh, didn't want to, you know, play this way. This is why uh, she chose to play rook on d1. So now making the space for the king if needed to move, uh, move out. And here we have knight c on b8, as this knight is under attack now. So move and attacking the, the rook. So moving with tempo and rook a8. We have queen on h6 as planned. Now it's very strong attack here. So knight on f1, defending now. And b4, bishop b5 by white. Uh, and here we have rook on c8, so uh, bringing the pressure to c3, and now queen d3, bringing more defenders. And here we have move, which I think nobody would expect, e5, so opening the center, and that is uh, pretty problematic. So uh, Nana Zagnidze first exchanged some pieces, so we have bishop on d7, knight d7, and rook c8. So, so avoid the complications here. She, she thinks, okay, I'm strong enough, so I'm gonna win easily here. D takes on e5, knight takes on e5 with attack on the queen, and now queen d5. And here we have knight f3 check. So that's check, and it looks pretty scary, but actually this knight defends h2. But it's, it's very important moment now, and uh, feel free to pause the video actually, and find the move, there are only two moves, you know, the king can go on g2 or the king can go on h1. And of course, uh, this is the move you don't want to play if you don't want to lose the, the queen. So you have these two moves and one of these moves is actually winning and one, the move is drawing. So which one is better to play as white? And as you see, white has a really great advantage here. So white definitely want to win. And I'm gonna enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, so what we have in the game 
was King on G2. This, this was played in the game. Uh, but King H1 is actually winning and black don't have anything here so for example if queen c6 want to exchange the pieces then the pieces would be exchanged and after c takes on b4 of course white are, are much better because have three extra pawns and even lose one pawn then would be two extra pawns so uh, winning easily if don want to exchange the, the pieces and want to for example attack on the uh, on the h file then rook on h8 doesn't work because queen c5 with check and now king e8 and now h4 so h4 is the the idea that the, you know the pawn can be moved and if uh, you know and pass out on h3 then we would have knight e3 queen e6 bringing some defender knight d5 and white actually have some mating ideas here and um, pretty dangerous stuff. So king h1 was the way to go. However, uh, actually Nana Zagnidze play king g2 and here is the Valentina Gunina who has a chance to draw this game. And now I would like you to pause the video one more time and draw as uh, black while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So I show you how to draw this game as black. So let's switch the sides. And now queen go to h3 with check. So the only move is h1. So we have very similar situation, the different is the queen is not on h6 anymore it's moved to h3 and it's very important because now the rook can come to h6 and you know start the attacking and also now h4 is impossible because queen is over there so for example a uh, very important move king f6 or king f8 uh, to hide the king first and after, for example, C takes on B4, we would have King G7. So this is the, the spot for the king. And now Queen D3 and Rook C6 preparing the attack. And actually White has nothing to do. Rook H6 and is checkmate. So Queen C3 can be played, but King H7, Queen C2, King g7, queen c3 check and you know white uh, just has to check if not then gonna get checkmated so th there is uh, no way of you know approach um, different way and of course king f8 to, to black cannot play for win king f8 or uh, king f6 or king g6 uh, would bring one more attacker so for example queen f8 would be very risky actually that would be losing rook d8 king e7 and now queen c7 and of course as you see you don't want to be in this situation rook d6 uh, king g7 and now queen c3 first don't take it yet because there is a checkmate also here so queen c3 first king h7 and only now exchange the rooks and win the game queen c4 keeping an eye on f1 and that would be uh, all good for uh, for white so definitely uh, king f8 can't be played here so have to be very very careful this is just draw so just move the king and don't try your luck somewhere else the same with king g8 of course uh, king g6 sorry king g6 is the same the rook would come and exchange would come and that would be um, game over for black so this is the way how to draw just stay between h7 and g if you found this congratulations um it's not easy to find and uh, anyhow uh, but let's go back to the white then we have this position where king on g2 was played so um this way you know uh, valentina gunina could draw the game 
However, Queen E6 was played by Gunina, so she did, she missed the chance for a draw, and she played Queen on E6. And now uh, Nana Zagnidze just show her technique how to win the game, and she play Queen on B7 with check. We have King F6, Queen B4, so picking up the material, King G7. Knight e3 now, bringing one more attacker, we have knight e5, so uh, black already only defending. Now we have rook on d6, attacking the queen, so queen e8. And here we have knight f5 with check, king g8, and now queen f4. And so now we have the threat and, you know, bringing the queen and checkmating. So knight g6, but now queen g4. A queen e5, so centralizing the queen, trying to find some counterplay. But now knight e7 with check and with attack on the rook and on the knight. So we have queen on e7, but that was the defender of the rook, so rook uh, is taken on c8 by the queen, king g7, queen c6, and now queen e2. And in this position, rook on g6, and Valentina Gunina resigned the game. And she resigned because, of course, it's nothing to do. It's uh, three extra pawns for white in the queen's ending, so it's definitely better for white. So Gunina, of course, knows that, so she just resigned the game. So if you like this video, press like, and if you don't like, press unlike. And if you want me to cover more games of this uh, great tournament in uh, St. Louis, uh, Cairns Cup, then let me know in the comment. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any other uh, movies. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.